Hi, happy Monday. As you can probably tell, I am not in my usual spot. I am back on Oahu, hence why I am sitting on the floor filming this. Just ignore that. But it's Monday, so it's time for Mad History Monday. Every Monday I sit down and talk about something interesting that happened in history. If you like history like me, I highly suggest that you subscribe because I do post one of these videos every other Monday. There is so much history in Hawaii and I am just hoping I can give you a little bit of that. I haven't really had much time to do research the past couple weeks, so I'm just going to give you a few interesting facts about uh, the attack on Pearl Harbor. And hopefully in a couple of weeks I'll have had time to do more research and then I can give you a longer episode on more things Pearl Harbor or more things Hawaii or Oahu in general. We will see. I used to volunteer at Pearl Harbor and it was my absolute dream. It was also very surprising. Sometimes while I was volunteering I would have people, usually either American or Japanese, come up to me and ask me what happened at Pearl Harbor and what the significance of Pearl Harbor was. So that was always interesting. But honestly, I was never mad because I am obsessed with World War II history and Hawaii and Pearl Harbor. So I was always really excited to tell them everything that I knew. Yep, look how cute I was. That was my first day. Anyway, with that being said, here are five interesting facts about the attack on Pearl Harbor. The surprise attack on Battleship Row on December 7th, 1941 started at 7.55 on a Sunday morning and lasted about two hours. Jerks. 2,335 service members and 68 civilians died, making a total of 2,403 people killed during the Pearl Harbor attacks. Standing on the USS Memorial, you can still see oil deposits in the water from the sinking of the USS Arizona. The day before the attack, the USS Arizona fueled up fully, taking on nearly 1.5 million gallons. This helped fuel the giant explosion and the fires during the attack, but according to the History Channel, up to nine quarts of oil still spill into the harbor each day. People often refer to this as the Tears of the Arizona or Black Tears. Japanese forces trained for about a year to prepare for the attack on Pearl Harbor. Originally, the Japanese Foreign Ministry wanted to present the U.S. with a declaration of war before the attack took place, so that they wouldn't go against international law. But the Japanese military didn't want to jeopardize the operation and blocked the Japanese Foreign Ministry. The U.S. actually had some warning signs that were overlooked prior to the attack. On the day of the attack, the Army Air Force's first lieutenant on temporary duty at Fort Shafter's Raider Information Center made a mistake. A radar operator on the north side of the island reported that he and another private saw a large blip on the radar screen. This indicated that there was a large number of aircraft fast approaching from about 132 miles away. The first lieutenant told them, don't worry about it, because he thought it was a flight of US B-17 bombers that were due in from the mainland. This was obviously a horrible mistake because these planes were the first wave of Japanese attackers. So they could have had a tiny warning and been able to prepare at least a little bit, but it is what it is. The USS Arizona's crew included a father and son and 38 sets of brothers. It was understandable why these brothers wanted to be together, but if disaster ever struck, parents could lose all their boys at once. With the sinking of the Arizona, 23 sets of brothers were killed along with the father and son. This and other tragedies of World War II prompted the Navy to discourage family members from serving together on the same ship. That's so sad. And those are five surprising facts about Pearl Harbor. I will hopefully be diving into some Hawaiian history as well, and that should be in the next video. But if for some reason it's not, it's probably because I still haven't had time to do much research. So we will see. If you ever do get a chance to visit Oahu, I highly recommend going to the Pearl Harbor National Memorial. It really is an amazing place to show your respects and remember the lives lost and the people that served in World War II. 
there's just so much history here and it's really a place for everybody. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Bye.